Hi, it's me again with Corolla Old Tips and Tricks. If somebody's watching one of my how to create a poor man's 3D image to engrave, and they're having trouble rotating to save time instead of having to contour this every time. So I've just kind of drawn a shape to try to help them. And if we look, we control D and make a duplicate, move the center rotation to the center and rotate it 10 degrees. Now we don't have to go all the way around, but we will just to let you show what it kind of looks like in my computer. Uh, it doesn't like that, so control 250. Control D and go back to 240. Now I'm gonna control D and to see is it jumped, I need to make sure it doesn't jump. Our center rotation is still there. Let's make it 260. And then we should be able to finish. And you could use uh, rotate on this too. But my old laptop's having trouble. I'm just control D and put it back to 340. All right, now we got the shape. You want to make sure that this is something other than a hairline. So double click on your pen tool and make it a half a point. Then grab that, go up to effects and contour. We're gonna contour to gray and see it did it. Now, it's hard to, if you did not have, let me just erase these. I gotta give you the idea of what we're trying to do. It's really hard, well, you can't, uh, con or you could contour each one of those spaces, but it would take some time. Their question is, how can they rotate this contour? Because when you do this and you even put the center rotation on the center, there's no rotate uh, value up here. Well, this is the key. You have to select this and go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap, and in this case, we're gonna go grayscale. It's gonna take just a second. And you really need to do that anyway, but now we have a rot uh, angle rotation. So we're gonna control D and make a duplicate and move whoop, move our, and you can see it turn into a bitmap because it's actually a square around it now. And then we're gonna rotate it the 10 degrees and just keep doing that all the way around. Uh, I'm gonna go a little slower, see if my laptop will keep up. And this is something you could do with rotate Docker. That is a really cool engravable item. Now we still have a circle in the middle. I'm gonna move it out of the way and I'm gonna make that circle white on the outside. But then I'm gonna contour the same thing to a black. And look at that. Now you need to click off of it to get it to go back to where it was. That will engrave really good, but the main purpose of the video is to try to show them how to rotate that uh, contoured mess. And if we look, since we've turned it into a bitmap, look at the, um, it's just a bunch of squares, but this will engrave quite well. Now, just a word of warning, the person that's doing this, that would take forever, that's 27 inches. I would make it like three inches, make sure your ratio is locked. And it's gonna come out the same, and then you can kind of test it and see what it's gonna look like. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.